Today we have kindly been sent this, well, how do you pronounce this now? It's the Bitv, the Bitv C2 cordless irrigator, which basically is an electronic dental water flosser. That's, if you don't know what one of these is, but it uses high pressure pulsating water that is intended to help remove dental plaque or food debris from between your teeth. And yes, below your gum line. Yeah, nasty. The unit itself has a sleek modern looking design. This version obviously is the white version, but it does however come in a vast variety of unique colours. It has a real grippy ray, so no you're not going to drop anytime soon. And yes, we have Type-C charging. So we have a Type-C charge port below, where it will take up to around about 3 hours to fully charge the units from flat, when using that supplied Type-C charge cable. This whole water unit, it is IPX7 waterproof, so you'll be able to use this in the shower in the morning. Nice, save a bit of time. And situated to the front, there is that power on button, a mode selection button too, and we have LED mode and power indication lights. So the capacity of that water tank to the bottom is 300 mils. It is very easy to fill with water when filling it via that little vertical hatch to the bottom. Now if you want to fill it even quicker, you can simply twist the water tank just like so, pull it and it will come right off the head unit. This will also allow you to thoroughly clean the inside of the tank every so often and to place it back it's just as easy as reversing the cycle. Now in regards to the nozzles that are supplied, there's five standard nozzles and one single tongue cleaner. They can be secured in place on top of the water flosser just like so by pressing down that push button and well quite simply inserting it into the hole next to it. If you do find this hard, which is not really hard to do so, there is however instructions in the instruction manual on how to fully set up and use the functions on this particular water irrigator anyway. But if I'm to be honest, those water nozzles, they don't feel that durable. And when I'm inserting it, it does feel like one day I'm just going to simply snap it off in my hand. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and put the whole unit to the test and test out the three modes. Now, not that I need this irrigator anyway, I do actually floss my teeth every so often. Honestly, I do. My fingers ain't crossed or nothing. Well, when using this Bits VC2, first of all, we placed it in the soft mode. It will push out around about 50 to 70 PSI. This mode is a lot gentler than the other two. It's not very powerful, but I guess it's good for those people with sensitive gums or teeth. And a full tank of 300ml water will last around 1 minute 30 seconds. How do you know? Because I timed it, silly. <clears throat> now when it comes to the second mode, the water pressure is a little stronger. It's around 70 to 90 PSI. It just pulsates that water rapidly. And personally, I do think that this was an adequate mode to use for myself. As it was not over the top powerful, but it did indeed loosen some of the plaque without making me feel any type of discomfort whatsoever. And within this normal mode, the water lasted 1 minute 10 seconds exactly. In regards to the last mode, which has been the most powerful one out of the three, this mode is for people with high requirements of teeth and gum cleaning. This is called the potent mode. It will shoot water out at a rapid pressure of around about 90 to 120 PSI, pulsating water strong enough to smash out any type of debris or plaque between your teeth. And while aiming that water flosser between my teeth and gums, twisting and turning it, in a matter of seconds, the inner part of my teeth, I did first of all have a tiny little chip right on the bottom of my tooth that again and again gets filled up with food and debris. It did actually blast that area all away. And not only that, when I come to clean my teeth the very next day and do a mouthwash, I did actually feel a little bit of a sting, knowing full well that that debris is now missing and my gums, wow, I can actually push water between the gaps in my teeth. Not only that, because this particular mode does burst out the water at a high rapid pressure, it will only last one minute exactly. So you've got to be very quick when using it in this mode. But not only that, you've got to position your head right over the sink. Because obviously, the amount of water that's flushing in your mouth, it's going to have to drip right out. And on the many occasions when testing this water flosser, most of it just simply pulled down my chin. So yes, make sure your head's over the bowl. Ew. No, not the toilet bowl, the sink bowl. Oh. And yeah, it will simply allow the water to pour out and go right down the drain. Now, we did swap out the initial standard nozzle 
and we changed it for the tongue cleaner. Look at the camera and say, bah. Bah. Uh, I wouldn't say that the water pressure does a lot of the work here. The tongue cleaner does most of the work when it does to clean your tongue. So it's just a little bit of an added aid when cleaning your tongue rather than using those little scrapers you can buy from a pound shop. I mean, it's good that they've included this. And one other thing I'd like to say though is I do wish that it came with an actual nozzle cleaner. Just in order so you can wash those tips out. But it's not a really big deal. Most of the time I just simply spray the water from the actual faucet and flush through the water into the nozzle itself. But yeah, that's it really. I do think it's a very handsome unit. It certainly has a modern looking style about it and it would be very fitting to place on your window ledge in your bathroom. That was the rate it though out of my usual rating out of 10. I'm judging it based upon the price of this actual unit which is right now at 17 pounds. That's 23 in US dollars. Well, that's a pretty good price, in fact. And we're gonna rate this dental flosser today our rating of nine out of 10. Now, if you wanna check it out for yourself, there's a link in the video description down below. We're not affiliated in any type of way. You're free to check it out. But if you have liked what you've seen within this video and you're looking for one of these units, well, be sure to check that link out and well, go get yours. While you're in our video description, guys, please, please like and share this video. Sharing's caring. Not only that, subscribe right now, as we would appreciate all of the support. Bearing in mind though to hit that bell notification option, so you guys stay updated on all our new uploads. Jesus Christ, I just wet the bloody lighting. Now it's been fascinating testing out this irrigator this week but we've got some more unique tech reviews in the next few days not only that though if you want to check this video out just there on the screen just now here it is i'd very much appreciate it no you still here okay what about this one here then no you still not clicked any of them all right then wait for our very next video then see you guys later peace